Hi guys, um, I'm doing another video just kind of showing you um, showing you um, how I'm making some flashcards to study uh, Korean grammar. Um, I have a different deck which I kind of like a lot, but at the same time I don't. It's using this book, um, Korean Grammar and Use Intermediate. The Korean Grammar and Use series is wonderful. The uh, Korean Grammar and Use uh, beginner I've used it quite a bit. Um, for my studies uh, for Korean grammar, and it's, it's been extremely helpful. Um, it has uh, c color pictures, good examples, uh, short sentences. Um, however, this Korean grammar and use intermediate book is, I'm not liking it as much. It's I still think it's great, the quality's all there, but the examples um, went from being really nice and easy to being a lot more advanced which is, I suppose, I guess, typical of uh, intermediate. It's like, well, if you're a higher level Korean uh, student, then, then you should have the higher level examples. Um, but uh, as someone who's not really intermediate yet, which but wants to get exposed to intermediate grammar, I really need it to be, uh, if I'm going to sit down and study it um, every day, just kind of review a bit uh, every day, I need it to be really simple, something I can, I, I don't have to um, concentrate too, 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 too hard on, and it's these sentences are long. It's a, uh, it's not just one sentence; it's several, like a, a very short conversation, but still like two people talking, and instead of just one quick phrase, which uh, for more advanced grammar, just doing one quick short uh, sentence might be a little bit um, awkward and uh, not the way Koreans would say it. But I would be totally okay with that. And actually, I have a different deck. Um, I'll show you that I might use, uh, and I, I guess I am using a little bit. It's called Korean Grammar Cheat Sheet. And uh, I'll do a quick search to see if I can find it, and I'll link it uh, in the description if I do. Um, you know, just study now. Um, basically, it's based off uh, kind of like a, a PDF file uh, that I found online. Somebody made their own uh, Korean grammar cheat sheet, a student, not a Korean person. I don't know how much input they had from a Korean person. I'm guessing not much. 영화를 본 뒤에 감상문을 쓰세요. And uh, this would be the, the purple parts, the target grammar, and that's the simple, a very simple sentence. And I, I don't know if he used uh, the the, uh, de the person who made the cheat sheet used Google Translate or Papago to make this, where the sentence came from. It's 영화를 본 뒤에 감상문을 쓰세요. Yeah, so who is afterwards? And they, um, the, the cheat sheet itself isn't really for intermediate per se. It's just an overall uh, cheat sheet for grammar. I'm guessing, although after uh, I, after I study more, I'll know better. I'm guessing uh, it's for beginner and a lot of intermediate level grammar but and no advanced um and maybe missing some intermediate but it's got a lot of there's a lot in there a whole lot um plenty of stuff for me to to, to work off of i don't need to go too much further but because it is a uh, the sentences are stupid short and it's not made by uh, professionally i was a little concerned i wanted to use a textbook instead to learn off but maybe i won't <laughs> maybe i'll just do because quick and dirty is good uh, for grammar i just want to have um something in my head so when i'm doing my reading uh like on link right now um, when i'm reading korean uh, i and i see all this the uh, see grammar i have and in context uh, i can under, i can have a chance uh at understanding it um so i have this book i bought a while back now uh i guess about a year ago um chokyu kara jokyu made manaberu kanzen master hanguru bunpo uh so clearly it's japanese and when I bought this, the idea was that um, Japanese grammar is similar to Korean grammar. Therefore, um, using Japanese to study Korean grammar made more sense, which is kind of true, but it's also not true. Um, sometimes, depending on the grammar concept, if it, it, it could match up really well to Japanese, to English, it never really matches up. It's just the grammar uh, concept might be so is can be very simple, so that it really doesn't matter what kind of an explanation you have, uh, Japanese, English, anything, uh, any language. Um, it's it's going to be pretty quick and simple, easy to understand. And then even with the more complex um, grammar points, I, I think that um, an English explanation is just fine. It's okay, uh, but. Um, Japanese, it does match up, and I, 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 I kind of like the Japanese just because 
well, uh, I study Japanese and I, well, I like studying Japanese. So by using, using Japanese uh, to learn Korean grammar, it kind of makes that whole process of studying um, more enjoyable, I think. <laughs> Um, at least as I read the book, it is now doing Anki reviews where you, you kind of monotonously uh, review something that you've already seen before. I, I don't know how well that will stand up for me. Uh, it might just be that English is even easier to understand than Japanese. Therefore, let's do English. I, that, I, I don't know how my, my, my thoughts always change. But um, I'm looking at this uh, sentence uh, at this book and um the sentences, they seem to be just sentences, not like a conversation. So on one hand, that's less context. On the other hand, that's, well, less, more, uh, less information to process and maybe, maybe better for Anki reviews. So um, I'm making a deck. I, I, in theory, I may make this, this whole, it's, it's a big book. Um, I might do the whole thing, but um, I'm just going bit by bit. So I'll make some cards, study them, and then you know, then go from there. Because it, it's a lot, it's a lot of work to make the um, deck, but it's not too bad. So that's why I'm showing you. Because I'm thinking maybe uh, you may have a PDF file, a textbook of some sort. Uh, you may like Anki, and you might be thinking uh, it would be so nice to uh, make a deck out of that textbook into Anki. And this is that's what I'm doing. So uh, let's see. So where is it? Uh, I called it. Kanzen Master Bumpo Korean. Okay, now let's do add. All right, this is, that's that. <laughs> um, let's find out where I was on here. One, three, one, four. Okay, I found where I, I left off, um, which is obviously very close to the beginning. And I'm just, as I look at the the different scripts, uh, Japanese has a much more difficult script, but I'm so used to it. And so, therefore, it's so nice for me to look at this. I see. Tomodachi ni aimas. It's just like this pops out at me. It's just so easy to understand. And this, uh, <laughs> this is the Korean, of course. And it, I can read it, but it's much more mental effort. <laughs> Weird, right? Um, all right, so this is what I'm going to do next. Uh, so we have it's the the way this book splits it up is kind of weird. Um, you can see the un, nun, it's like teaching particles. Um, my plan though is to, well, I'm just doing sentences, so it really doesn't matter too too much uh, how they organize it because I will just be studying sentences either way. So I'll just be going, so it's okay. But uh, also probably do it randomly as opposed to in order, so I could get a good mix of sentences and grammar concepts, but. Um, I think as long as I'm doing sentences, then it doesn't matter too much, even if they they organize it strangely. So, okay, so this is what you I do. Uh, I have a copy image. Copy it there. That's a little, I could do a better one. It's a little annoying how they have the uh, Romaji, the Roman alphabet, as a kind of aid for pronunciation. Like, why? J do Japanese people want that? <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> Oh gosh, because this book is actually pretty advanced. This covers uh, advanced grammar. Well, you, you should know Hangul if you're using this book. Um, yeah. Takshiwa norimasen, tekshinen an daio. Yeah, this is stupid easy grammar, but I'm just being thorough, so I kind of want to just add everything. Okay, and this is the kind of cool part that I really want to show. I mean, the copy and paste is nice and easy. It's so easy. Uh, Acrobat, you don't need the, uh, the free version. You don't need to do have um, the uh, paid version, so it's and just copy and paste directly into Anki. And um, this is Audacity, and I can import. Now I had I had this on CD, and I had to export the seat for Audacity to, to read it. Re Audacity can't read directly from CDs unless they're data CDs as opposed to audio CDs, but it can't read directly from audio CDs. And so I used uh, Windows um, Media Player to import two WAV files. Um, I thought basically you could import it to MP3s, I think, but I just did WAV files. Anyway, read directly. I don't care about security. <laughs> okay, and there it pulls right in. And here's the cool part, uh, Sound Finder. And minimum duration of silence between sounds. This is a setting you can kind of toggle with. I mean, you could toggle with all of it, but 
that's the one I toggle the most because depending on what um, I'm searching, uh, depending on how the speaker, um, the, the pause duration between examples will vary. So you, you kind of play with that. And this looks like it, looks, it did a pretty uh, good job. It's pretty simple. So, okay. And yeah, see, it matches up. It found everything. So now I can uh, go ahead and do an export. Export multiple. It's going to go to the directory that I'm used to going to. All right. Now, uh, in Anki, uh, I don't have the name of this add-on. Um, I'll, I'll link it in the description. But this is really useful. Um, I use it uh, whenever I'm making um, Anki cards. It seems to be very useful to have Anki for certain fields preserve the data that's in there between cards. And you'll see how this becomes useful for this. Um, so let's go ahead and import. Takshinen antayo. Takshinen antayo. All right. And I have this ha hockey set up. I add. All right. Go ahead and minimize that. Don't need that for a while. And it saved this. So, and I can. What I can do is I. Um, I can highlight that. And then add, and now I have this as a reference because I'm gonna I'm going down each card, and obviously, or not so obviously, I lose focus. I forget which one did I do last, which one's next. Bangun and because it saves it, then that makes this really easy. Uh, these, this book is splitting the audio up into just uh, I guess 14 at a time, so that's not too bad but I'm using a different book that goes up to 64. So that's a lot more messy. It's a lot harder to keep track of in your head uh, to remember which one. And so this uh, add-on that will preserve the field between cards is, is very, very helpful. Um, I think it's actually not really intended for this. Uh, it's intended, um, for example, if you were, um, like I could also copy this information here. This is so simple, I, I'm not really bothering to. As additional information, right? Because this this here will apply for all of these sentences, and that. But I'm going to make individual cards for each of these, and I can have it free, so it will. I don't have to copy and paste it for each um, each uh, card that I set up if I were to do that. But I don't really care. Later on, depending on the what uh, the cards I'm making, I think I, I may want to add more information. But this. I mean, they're just going with a particle E subject marker, so I don't need a big explanation on that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's uh, this um, deck. And I'm also making, uh, oh, um, I guess that could almost end the video here. <laughs> um, I'm also. This is the other deck. Uh, this is track nine. This is a um, uh, track nine twenty one. Yeah, fifty seven hundred um, vocabulary words. I bought this book in Japan, and then I uh, paid to have it scanned into PDF file format um, for topic. It's a uh, whole topic one too. I'm not too familiar on the topic test in general. <laughs> I just I know this test exists for uh, Korean language learners, and so. Um, you, if you're studying Korean, using the topic material is a good way to, um, to kind of, well, to, uh, to study from easier to more difficult and progress and, and find, uh, the appropriate difficulty, uh, material, but the, uh, vocabulary for a topic would obviously be like a frequency list. This would be great vocabulary. So I would love to know 5,700 words that are considered the most important by, um, the administrators of this test and, yeah, it includes um, an example sentence. I'm, I'm, I am ignoring the, I'm not sure, I'm not putting this on the card at all. <laughs> this is the word on the left, and this is the sentence or phrase. It's really short. Um, when you do sentence mining um, on howtostudykorean.com or use neighbor to get example sentences, I found that I've gotten some pretty long sentences. These uh, phrases or set are so short, and I, I can't, I haven't decided yet if that's a, a bonus or a good thing or a bad thing. 
um, it seems like I have, because they are short, uh, I have less chance to uh, just kind of recognize one word in the sentence and based on that, remember the sentence as a whole. Um, I actually need to understand the uh, target vocabulary and remember that target vocabulary in order to um, to, to understand the this short phrase that it's, uh, it's showing here. And it does give a context though, and it does give like, um, uh, you know, how the words, an example, a, a good example of how the word is used. So I like that a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm making several cards using this uh, PDF file as well. And it has the audio. Uh, so I'm doing the same, same thing anyway. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's what I'm doing now. Um, I'm making some decks, uh, a new Anki decks to see how I like them. And I'm still using the decks I already have. Um, I'm just going to kind of go between the both to see which I like better. This is the grammar and sentences, grammar use and sentences. Um, sync. I already did some of this today. <laughs> all right, it says I'm all done. Um, yeah, I'll just show you. All right, all right, that's a different deck. Current grammar use sentences, browse. There it goes. This is a lot of information. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I don't read this very much. Unless it's my first time encountering it, then I might look at it a little bit, but this is there just kind of just in case, but yeah. Um, so, uh, I, my goal right now as I'm studying, uh, Korean every day is to do a bit of Anki, about one hour of Anki every day. And then the rest to do Link. Um, Link is reading Harry Potter and, um, oh, yeah, I obviously get bored. I look at language learning videos on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Lindy Bode, she's, she's great. Yeah. Um. Okay, this is Link, and I, I might do a different video later, just going over Link some more, but um, my goal every day is to do 100, and then they, they have like a, a bonus if you double that goal uh, of doing 200 new links. So I'm actually hoping to do 200 new links every day. That takes me about one hour of reading, depending on how busy I am. So that's like two hours of Korean every day, uh, one hour of Anki, one hour of reading, roughly. Um, it, it often turns out to be a bit, bit more of each. Uh, especially Link. I've had, oh, they don't show it. There's my history. Statistics last week, yesterday. I guess I did exactly 200 links that day, huh? Last month. Oh, on my phone it has like a, like a, a graph that you could see. Anyway, um, this is my immersion. I, I like immersing uh, in Link uh, much better than immersing by watching um, dramas or um, anything else because I, I look up all the words as I go and I actually learn new vocabulary. And I think this would be is a is a wonderful way uh, to learn vocabulary. If I what I did with Japanese was I didn't do reading because it was too difficult for me. Um, what I did was a lot of um, just this uh, flashcards similar to this, and then watching anime. And then, of course, if, if I could, uh, as I'm watching the anime, if I could hear the vocabulary that I studied, then that was the, my great way, my idea of reinforcing it. And I couldn't, because Japanese was so difficult, that was the only way that I, I could uh, continue studying is to do a routine like that. But um, thankfully with Link, I find it much better uh, to immerse myself uh, from reading. I think it's a much better way to learn. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I will include some links in the description and uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.